Hello Sagittarius, this is Crystal Rose and I'm here with your reading. It would probably be helpful if I started with some cards, maybe? <laughs> All right then. Um, <clears throat> so if you want to stalk me, you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. And uh, I promise to meet you on TikTok soon. So if you want to head over to Crystal Comfy Soul, C-R-Y-S-T-A-L, on TikTok, I will be there shortly. And I promise to entertain. Anyhow, if you'd like a private reading, you can pop over to ComfySoul.com. Link is also in the description below. Uh, I can't remember if I put my website link or the Kalenly link. I think they're both in there, but the calendar link's in there. And let's get a read for you and see what's going on. So, you know what? I'm hearing chomping at the bit, chomping at the bit, like you're dying to know what is going on. <laughs> Something exciting happening, Saggy? You're like chomping at the bit. Are you headed towards someone? Are you, what are you excited about? You're just chomping at the bit. All right. And it's specifically like the horse reference, like the bit and the horse chew. It's like, you better put this bit in my mouth because I can't, I can't keep myself straight. I just cannot deal with me right now. It's just like so much excitement. Um, I noticed the bottom of the card. Seven of Cups is sitting here at the bottom. So this is choices, decisions, making a decision. This is what you're chomping at the bit about, huh? All right, let's see. Okay, what is the past story? In the past, you felt like you were king of the world. There was a moment in time where you felt like you were on top of it, king or queen. So this is the feminine energy that I'm reading. Um, felt like... Home. It felt like home. I have an animal. I've got my home. I'm taking care of my domain. And you felt whole and complete. And then you meet this person. And it feels like this is it. This is my soulmate. This is my twin. This is absolutely my person. So let's see what's happening here. All right. So present story for the feminine. You have... A person who is very in control of their domain, as I just described, their house situation, all well and settled, and thinking about reaching out to somebody, but contemplating and only holding back, mostly because you've spent time working on yourself, getting your shit back together, saving some money again. It looks like you've lost a few things and come back around and now you're on the up, right? So now that you're on the up, you're really proud of yourself and you want to keep going with this. Um, okay, so what happened? Oh, now you're excited about something. You're excited about sharing this with somebody else, but you didn't do that before. Yeah. There was someone you wanted, but you didn't go after them because you had been so wounded and you'd gone through so many different things that you were actually holding back your feelings and being deceptive about the fact that you're absolutely madly in love with this person, this passionate, friendly, go-getting, personable, fun, amazing person. You knew that was your person and you didn't commit because you thought that that kind of passion can't be safe, can't be good for your money, can't be safe, it's not stable enough. But the truth is, you realize that without this person, and I just got way serious, like I feel this, without this person and you being able to celebrate where you've landed, without having them, it doesn't mean anything. It's like, what's the point? Who do I have to share it with? I need to tell them. I'm no longer going to hold my energy back. I'm going to tell them that I want to share everything. A cornucopia, a plethora of things. And it's time. The truth has been downloaded to your little brain. And you're like, yes, little brain has big ideas. It's time to go get them. I have so much I want to do. This is very, very exciting. Because honestly, right now, you're super bored. You are so over it. You're like, I have all these emotions, but I'm not sharing them with anybody. So I can only enjoy one emotion. 
the one where I created something and there's good things happening at home, but like, what do I do with all of this happy? Where can I put that? Who can I share that with? Okay, so the person that's coming in knows you're the one, wants to tell you, let's see what's going to happen next. Because I have two people that are very independently taking care of themselves, but they want to be together. Except this first person, the feminine, the one that I first described, this person wants to be seen by that person. It's like, okay, yeah, I could take care of myself, and I did, and I have, but I've seen that you can take care of business too. You didn't do it with me, but you did it with somebody else. And now that you're done with that situation, in case you didn't know that, they're done with that situation. Um... They want to come back to you because it doesn't mean anything without you. And then playing this game where they're not sharing their feelings is not working. It's just making them, it's like you both know and no one's talking about it, which is kind of ridiculous because this works really well. It's super passionate. There's great beginnings for both of you. You both know how to take care of yourselves. You're passionate people. Yeah, there's no reason you can't move forward. So what do you need to do here? Ah, wow. This is where you're coming to your own realization that the truth is you've been through some shit and you're healing from that. And, and you want to be seen by a romantic person because you deserve romance. You're a romantic person. You deserve someone to reciprocate that back to you because you're the damn sunshine. This is your season. You're liking the sunshine, aren't you? <laughs> Welcome back out of winter. All right, what's coming next for you? Let me see. Yeah, you've been sitting here thinking about this going, what do I do? Am I still going to wait for you? Am I going to go look for something else? Do I just know what's happening and I'm just going to let that happen? Just watch the show? Because on one hand, it's sad. And on the other hand, it's exciting. But in the end, all that matters is that you're the sunshine. Okay? That's, that's how this is going to pull itself together. I'm also hearing spirits say, pull out a miracle. Like, you think this is impossible. That's why you're teetering between, like, taking care of yourself and being amazing, and then on the other hand, you're wanting to stay focused on the thing that you wanted, so you don't want to let go of that idea. What should you focus on? What is coming next? Question, what's coming next? That's what we want to know. <laughs> you're awesome. You're good. You're good. This is your happy family, emotionally together, sharing feelings, and all the things that aren't happening right now are happening. Snuggles and memories being made and talking about the past and making new memories. This is fun and joyful, romantic abundance. This is beautiful. That's what you have coming. Now let's look at this person on the other side. And um, while I'm saying all this, it could be vice versa. The roles could be switched. So you could be the other person I'm talking about. Oh, this is super cute. I like it. Hmm. tougher on their end. I can see why you're waiting and why you're confused because you know they have genuine feelings, but they're either already in a situation and they need to speak up, get some truths and get out. Or they just got honest with themselves that you're the one they want to have a family with. Now, this could be both. It could be they're leaving someone and they're coming to you because they want to be with you. They want to have a family with you. They want to create life with you. So therein lies the problem. They're only halfway in at the moment. They're sad about where they're leaving or what's going on. They're just not happy without you. It's absolutely horrendously boring there. Okay? It's like, what the hell is the point of life anyway? All right. So let me look at what they're going to do or what's coming next. Lots of passion. Decisions being made. Lots of passion. Nothing but passion. Oh, this is gorgeous. Because they're coming for you, sunshine. You're the queen of cups. They're coming for you. Like, amazing. And they know that there's 
so much you guys already started together. It's healthy. It's well boundaried. There's a good beginning. You get along. You're like friends. Like this is really beautiful. So they want to come in and enjoy all of these things together. Let's see. Yes. Confirmation is what I wanted. That's happiness. They're like, woo, throwing confetti. It's party time. Like I did it. I came to my person and I'm going to be so happy when I'm with them. But there's 10 cups in the tarot. This is only nine. They can't have the 10th one because that lies with you. That's where it needs to be. All right. So here's what I feel they've been doing because <laughs> I like to keep music on in the background to um, continue to get messages while I'm also channeling. And the song that's on now is Warren G. Regulate. <laughs> so this is someone who's ready to regulate. They're here to call the shots and get down with the get down. Like they're, they're made a decision and they want this. Um, let me take a quick look at what they're coming away from. They have a new beginning. So they're already done. They left other situations. They're a brand new person. They've healed. That's what you really need to hear. And now they need to decide if they're going to come share that with you. That's what's bothering them. It's like, ah, oh, do I want to bother them again? Because I have really great memories of them. And there's so much passion, but, ooh, that I really, I really closed the door very harshly on that. And I screwed up. And now I got to solve this problem. Like, how do I fix this? Um, they went off. They probably got somebody else pregnant. <laughs> Um, like did a whole family thing. And if you, if they got to the point where they didn't actually get somebody else pregnant or have kids or they just played house with somebody else, this is somebody who definitely still, no matter what you think, oh, they already did it. They're done. That's it. I'm never going to get married or be pregnant or whatever. No, they absolutely want this with you as well. So whether they're bringing kids or getting you pregnant or you guys are starting, just a whole brand new creation of life together in business or just the way that you feel passionate and how you live, really, because this is a beautiful love offer. Two people coming together to share their emotions and tell each other how they feel. So this person is finally going to open up and tell you. All right. I've been doing something a little fun, a little crazy. So I got myself the Rebel deck and we're going to pull a couple cards of advice for both of you. So first you, the feminine, little Mr. Mrs. Saggy. What advice does spirit have for you? You are giving away your power. You spend too much time wondering if this person's coming back, if they still give a shit. You're like way too attached. So you're leaving the self in a limbo place where you can be out having fun, being seen by other people. Um, don't get stuck on one person or idea. Really, you're a badass, act like it. That's what's on the back. Um, I'm feeling one more. You need a good fucking cry. They put you through it. You've been sitting here waiting for them. Get that ugly cry on, let that shit go. Your soul will thank you. Yep, there it is. Okay, and for the other person, you better make this right, yo. You had them crying. What do we got? You're a hot mess, fact. Clean yourself up. Ouch. <laughs> and just in case you missed it, you look like a shit show. So sorry, cross watcher, if you're checking this out, like get it together, man. Tell them how you feel. You got your life in order. Go get it done. And just to be fair, I'll grab one more because I, um, I did that for Sag. Your body's pissed at you. Get the fuck outside. Move your ass. So this one, you just need to ground get it back together, get out of the thoughts and the feelings and the emotions and the crazy and get the job done. Get the job done and time to go. It's time to go. Okay. Move it, get the job done, go get that person. All right. I'm going to leave it there. That's what I have for you. If this resonated, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. And if you'd like a personal reading, you can head over to comfysoul.com and the link is in the description below. Okay. Bye.